have two, three, four, we did. Open that program, we did. Kitchen program, we did. Chapu, chapu, let's we did. Madam Sabi cook, she did all campaign. For South TV, we did all campaign. Chef two, three, four. Make we the cook, make we the chocolate, and make we the belly food. Now me, be Madam Sabi cook. <laughs> For South TV, we did all campaign. prepared. So our meat has been boiling now for 20 minutes. Okay. Then it is now soft and tender. So what I'll do now is to transfer it into another plate. Then we can start the cooking of the ora obono soup proper. Stay tuned. So after transferring the meat into another bowl, then in here I have uh, my palm oil. You don't want to bleach your palm oil. The next thing that I will be transferring into the pot, I'll be adding into that palm oil is my blended, blended omono meats. Okay, I blended this omono meat, okay? So, okay, okay. So I'm going to stir this. Now there are so many methods you can use to make your obono soup. So the reason I'm doing this is so that the obono will not have any lumps. Okay, so I have another uh, another obono recipe on my channel, so you can go check it out. They are right about now. It's time for me to add my meat stock. My meat stock goes into it. Okay. Then you give it a quick stir. And someone is already asking me if it will still draw after the frying. You all see how the magic will play out. Okay, look at it. Look at it. Look at it, guys. Look at it. So, it doesn't stop it from drawing. Look at it. Just look at the drawing. Okay, look at it. Is that not lovely? So the frying doesn't stop anything. So right now it's time for me to transfer all my meat and the remaining stock into the pot. Just look at how 
that is doing. So I also add some water. Stir to combine. At this point, I will be adding my dry fish. I've already washed it. The dry fish goes into it. We stir again to combine. So that's right now it's time for me to add my crayfish. Then turn, turn it to combine. So right now it's time for me to add my my leaves. Then give it a crisp stir to combine. Now take note of the way I slice my aurora leaves. Now I don't know if it is old wife tales or it's just a superstitious belief, but somehow it is true uh, that anytime you use knife to cut your aura leaves it gives it this bitter taste but i don't know how true it is but somehow somehow uh it is true so i i have actually tried it too i tried the one i use knife and it came out like sour somehow bitter and uh, i've also used the one i used my hand and it came out nice like this one i used my hand to just uh cut it Like play, like play. Our aura soup done. Aura or bonus soup done. Do they did. Well, if you have watched up until this point, why haven't you subscribed? Please subscribe and join the family. Look at that, guys. It's really, really nice. Send me pictures. Recreate it and send me pictures. Let me know uh, the how outcome it is set. This gorgeous, beautiful, looking, yummy shell soup. Looking so hot, like hot. I'm so excited, it came out really nice, and I'm so so happy. So, look at it. Go and recreate your own. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let me know what swallow you would like to eat this or wrap or bono soup with. Until I come and I wear again, I beg make another cook, make another chocolate, and make another belly food. Now, me, be Madame Sabi Cook. See you guys in my next video. Bye.